Hey guys, gals, friends, and pals, this is Paul Acevedo of Windows Central coming at you with our second Neverwinter weekend stream. Tonight I'm joined on mic by Icky, Westex. Uh, oh, yeah, that's Icky. Westex is not actually on mic, but he's in the room with me. Then we've got Lil Fryer and Yup84. Hello. Yo. Awesome. So we've got a great team of guys here, and you can see the Windows Central Guild. A lot of our members have shown up to show their support for tonight's stream great bunch of folks we've been working on this guild really hard ever since we did our last stream we started the guild about a week after that and now things are going really well for us I'm just gonna summon my mount here the armored spider and let's see I guess we could show people around the guild stronghold before we actually go off on an adventure anybody taking screenshots I hope you did little fryer you seem like you'd be good at that <laughs> All right. All right, can. so upon joining a guild, you gain access to a stronghold like this one. It's filled with a number of NPCs who give you quests. Here's one. I'll just talk to her real quick. You can just talk to her. If she had a quest to give me, she would give it to me now, but I already have her quest. There's a dragon flying by overhead. One of the things you can do is battle a dragon, but you need a whole lot of people for that because it's a really tough enemy. Uh, then you can also build things. Right now, the next thing we're going to build is this, a marketplace. We need a whole lot of resources for this. It's going to take us a few weeks to get up there, most likely. But as long as all the high-level players keep contributing, then we'll get there. Because high-level players can give the most stuff. Low-level players can barely give anything. Which is why they need to play more and level up, man. Uh, is everybody's with me? Let's take a... We're going to go look at the farm real quick. Since we just built the farm, we're just going to go out and have a look. So I'm accessing the map. I do that by pushing left bumper plus up. There's another way to do it, too. I forget how. A, a menu or something. Yeah, that's it. All right. So we are all, everybody get on your mounts and let's go have a look at the farm. All right, oh, this way. Glad you like my spider, Simu. He came as part of the Champion of the North pack. Came with a panther companion and a few other cool things. <laughs> yeah, the spider is a little bit freaky. Brian finds the owlbear interesting. Yeah, opinions are divided about whether the owlbear looks cool or not. I am on the side of thinking that it's pretty cool looking. It'd be nice if you could pick your color. Yeah, well, they actually come in several different colors, and they're all unique mounts. That's oh, okay. why. All right, so here's the farm. We've just spent a fair deal of time saving up the resources to build this thing. And it produces food for us, food which we can use when we're constructing other things like the marketplace that we are hoping to show off. Let me access the menu real quick, yep, so they can see what we can do with it. So it produces food on the hour, whatever, and now I can tend it and we'll collect that food. Then it goes into our guild coffer, which is our, our guild storage. And there used to be enemies who would camp out here and hassle us when we tried to come look at the plot to build it. But I, I was able to fend them off. I've gotten high enough level that I can defeat these enemies usually without being killed. So that's pretty cool. I'm not level 70 yet. It says 70 in the top left corner of the screen, but actually everyone scales up to 70 when they visit the stronghold. I'm, I'm level 63. Oh wow, Dean has a really nice mount. Look at that. What is that called, West? The purple wolf. Shadow Wolf. Oh, Shadow Wolf, nice. Can you buy it? Yes. Oh. I see, you buy it from the auction house. It was on the Zen market at some time, maybe, but now it is not. Yeah, don't worry, we're going for two hours tonight, everybody, and we're going to give out codes in four sessions, so every half hour, approximately. That's awesome, guys. Okay, now let's run back and look at the guild coffer real quick so people can see how to donate to the guild, just in case they don't know. And then we will set out towards a dungeon, I guess, would be a good thing to do. Yeah, jumping around is fun. You hold left bumper and press A to jump. That takes a little getting used to. Actually, with the controls, a whole lot of things are accessed by holding left bumper. It's your modifier button. So 
when I hold left bumper, it changes the buttons displayed at the bottom down there. So it changes what the D-pad and what the four face buttons do. Again, that takes a little while to get used to, but believe me, it becomes second nature after you've played for an hour or two. It's really not a big deal. Don't you guys agree? Yes. Right on. It's bad when you're going back to Halo and you hit left bumper <laughs> to jump and you just throw a grenade at yourself. I feel you, dude. I did that. Yeah. What was I playing? I was playing Garden yeah. Warfare 2 and I was holding left bumper while I jumped. Okay, so this is the banker. You can access a bank from over here. Then this mimic chest here is the guild coffer. So we talk to the mimic and from here we can donate different resources that the guild needs. There's a lot of different kind of resources that you collect throughout your adventures. You got gold. Gems are a big one. Gems play several different purposes in this game. One of them is that you can use them to improve your artifact equipment and uh, you can use them to improve your companions. But it's also really important that people in a guild donate their high level gems to the guild coffer because we need a whole lot of gems before we can complete our marketplace and that will benefit everybody. Then here at the bottom there's some things called treasures and only like Level 60 people, I think, can get one kind of treasure, but only level 70 people can normally earn the rest. So those, obviously, high-level people have to do those. <laughs> Man, it's really great just seeing everybody online at the same time, because usually we're a little bit spread out. But we're not a small guild. Let's have a look at the guild real quick. I go to Social, My Guild. Then I press Right Bumper. And you can see we have 126 different gamer tags in our guild. That's 126 people out of a limit of 150. And right now we've just got a, a nice little handful of high-level dedicated players online. We love them all very much. Alright guys, it's time to queue up for a dungeon. So everybody is level 50 now, right? Or 48 is the minimum. Oh, okay, real quick before I do that, I'm going to show professions. Some people... Like when you start the game, it, the crafting system and professions might seem intimidating, but actually it's really simple and you should start doing it as soon as you're able to. Yeah, I just found it today. <laughs> I see. I was encouraging you to do it. <laughs> you, you can have these different tasks going. You just check in on them. You start them, then you check in on them. So I've got three that are done, so I'm going to collect the results and get some experience and some items. Mostly the items are used for other crafting tasks but some of them are items that you can keep, like potions or whatever. So now I'm just going to choose a task, and I'm going to have this guy go... He's going to find some maps, because maps are used in a lot of leadership tasks. Start the task. It takes several hours. You could do tasks that are done in 20 minutes, or you could do tasks that take several hours, you know, so you don't... It's kind of like a time management game for mobile or whatever, but it's just... You know, it's a nice little thing that you can do in between missions and stuff. It's not a very big deal. But eventually the rewards will make it worthwhile. Alright, now we are going to queue up for a dungeon. So I go to quests, and then we have queues here. This is how you can jump into these queues. You don't have to like go to the areas where these things are found. You could do that, or you can just queue up this way. So we are going to hop into... Do we want to do Grey Wolf Den? Yeah, I guess because we can't do Temple of the Spider. Oh, we're too large for this queue. Oh, dang it. Okay, we're going to do a skirmish, but no. Dang it, yep. Uh, wait, wait. No, actually, you have to be level 57. Okay, instead of what I just said, we're going to go do some quests. Because, unfortunately, our, our level disparity means that some of the people can't get into the thing we're doing. And that is one area where I think that Neverwinter could be a little nicer or a little more player-friendly, is not having such strict requirements. But if we only had three people, we could do dungeons together. Um, uh, Paul, well, I think they're pretty I forgiving. What's... You, you can try doing the uh, heroic encounters in the uh, oh, stronghold. that's not a bad idea. Just hit south. Just hit south. There's a few okay. down. Okay, alright, then there. you lead the way, Icky. We're going to go do a heroic encounter instead, which does not require queuing. Good idea. Uh, yeah, maybe we'll go fight a dragon. That That is a good idea. But where are you, Icky? Uh, we, we couldn't win the dragon. We need at least 30 uh, to No, 40 not that players. dragon. Just the one in the graveyard. Ah, okay. 
with Yad. Okay, let's check. Yep. Uh, never did. Bob Jones is. Cr uh, well, I mean, before we do that, let's do a heroic encounter. Okay. Okay. As long as we're here, that way we don't have to come back. So lead the way to the heroic encounter okay. of your choice, Icky. Okay, let me check which one has the longest timer okay. here. So Bob Jones was pointing out that the game sort of is tailored towards high-level players, and that's true of most MMORPGs. Because, yeah, after you play this for long enough, you will become a level 70 player. If you stick with the game and, and play it several times a week, you'll get there in only a few weeks. It didn't take Icky very long, did it, Icky? Three weeks, maybe? Four? Uh, probably... Two weeks, I think. Yeah, really not all that long. And you could even make it faster if you bought an experience booster. That would speed it up significantly, but you don't have to do that. So yeah, there's a big area around our stronghold, and there's lots of little things going on. We can find these heroic encounters and participate in them, and we earn... What do we earn? Influence? Yeah. Yeah, and some Here we are. Voucher. Yep. All right. I'm a thief, by the way, or a rogue. Trickster rogue, yeah. So when you get into fights, it's just kind of a big mess, but it, it's fun, though. Swizzlers is voting for me. I'm not sure what we're voting on. <laughs> That's cool. So how long do we... We actually stay here for 16 minutes and fight? Uh, we just have to finish... Four wave of enemies. Okay, four groups of enemies. I believe we can handle that. I'm gonna turn my sound down a little so it doesn't come through the speakers. Tyler says he likes the PlayStation Vita. Great little portable system there. I was just playing Crypt of the Necro Dancer on it earlier. You know, Zero was teasing me that I never finish games, but I beat Necro Dancer with a second character today. Or, or was it yesterday? Yeah, late last night, let's put it that way. And it has like, I don't know, 10 characters, something like that, so it's a lot of replay value. But some of the characters are way too hard to play as, so they're, they might as well not even be in the game. But that's a totally different game, isn't it? <laughs> yes. Hey, Jamez32. So, Little Friar, have you been enjoying the game more the farther you've gotten into it? You know, when you play these MMOs, you don't find out a lot until you get to the max level, so I'm still just kind of aimlessly button mashing my way through things. <laughs> Once you get to the 60s, that's when the challenge really ramps up. That's been my experience. Yeah, I, I often forget I'm supposed to level things up. I think I have like. 10 skill points I haven't used right now. Now, when people find stuff, you can need greed or pass it. I picked greed, and yeah, I'm just going to greed everything. Then it does a roll, at, like as if you're playing the real Dungeons and Dragons game, and you'll find out whether or not you've won the items. And these items that we get from these drops here are items that can be donated to our guild in, into the coffer, and that will be helpful. So good to pick them up even if you don't actually need that kind of equipment. Good luck to everyone entering the contest. Tonight's prize, the green owlbear mount, cannot be bought. So it is pretty cool to be able to win one. And Perfect World was so generous giving us... We got those 20 codes and we got a, another little supply of them for other purposes. So they've been really great about that. I met them in person at PAX South a couple of weeks ago, and that was a great pleasure. And I'm going to be in San Francisco again in two weeks' time. Probably will not stop by their office. But I am going to see if I can dig up any stories besides the Xbox Spring Showcase that's going to be there. I'm going to do my daily power. It's a power... It's. I don't know why they're even called daily power, because you could do it more than once a day, but you have to fill up your glowing crystal down there, so I'll do that now. My guy kind of darts around and hits everybody. 
Oh, in the real Dungeons and Dragons, you could only do it once a day. That's what West X says. Any of you guys ever play a pen and paper role playing game in real life? Nope. Yep. What about you? Uh, there was one that I was gonna do in my old job with another friend, but I forgot the <laughs> name of it. Is it Cyberpunk? No, there's so many. No. Uh, Warhammer? It was. I can't remember. Yeah, Warhammer uses miniatures, so I guess it's a little bit different. Well, I played a few. Cyberpunk was one of the ones I played. But just like, because I had a friend who wanted me to play along, and I'm a team player, so I tried a few times. It was not my thing. But in video game form, heck yeah. This game has some really good lore drawn from Dungeons & Dragons stuff. Like, you could totally ignore all the lore, because... You don't have to read any of it, but if you ever want to, especially if you're playing by yourself, you might take the time to read some of it, and all the areas you visit, all the main enemy bosses and stuff, they have a lot of history and information about them that enriches the experience. Swizzlers asks if you can use the same account on PC and Xbox One. The answer is no, they are separate games, unfortunately. And Is this on PS4? No, it's not. It's Currently, Xbox and PC only. Hmm. I suppose it's a little easier for them to put up with. I wish there was cross-platform, that would be neat, although the PC guys had the game so much longer, so they'd be at a significant advantage. Not that it's... I mean, well, there is PvP, actually, so there is some competition to it. And that'd still be a big deal, just for mouse and keyboard. Yeah, I imagine... Well, even on PC, if it always has had controller support, as I understand it. Great success, all right. So, now to claim my heroic encounter reward, I have to tap the back button, the the view button, and highlight claim it heroic encounter reward. I don't know why they make it so difficult. But anyway, claim it, and I got some influence and an enchantment. So that's a valuable gem that I can use to donate to the guild or whatever. So that was good. Okay, now let's go back to the sign and we will go do some dragon fighting. M. Danny says that Rayman on Vita is gorgeous. That is true. Rayman's just a gorgeous game anyway, both of them, and they are pretty good on the Vita, aren't they? Didn't they take the multiplayer out of the second one, though? Yo, Don Troverson! Following Little Friar. When you streamed Grim Fandango, was that from the Vita? Yes, it was the PSTV Vita version. Yeah. It was that Best Buy today. My cousin just got a PS4 and they had an ad up for it. It probably looks slightly nicer on the PS4, but not all that much. They didn't do much with the remaster. So, where, uh, where are you going? Oh, I don't do know. We... Oh, you're just going back here? Go to... Yeah, we need to go to Never, Never Death, Death Graveyard, that's right. Oh, Carthraxis? Yes, we'll go fight the dragon, Carthraxis. Never. Yeah, that's true, Brown Meister. It is a great engine that, Ru that Ubisoft has created for their 2D games. I wish they would do more with it. Shoot, their new uh, Division Snowdrop engine looks great, too. Noise. So here we are. Have we selected the quest yet? Do I have the quest? Uh, no, you pick it up down this camp. I actually already did it. Okay, down. But Harper Bowers. Oh, Harper Wait, Wendell. That's yeah. right. Okay, yeah. Gray swapping. Charthraxis. Okay, everybody, make sure you get the Charthraxis quest so you can earn extra XP from doing this. Now, she's on a respawn timer, so she might not show up for 20 minutes or so. Yeah, we'll have to see how it goes. Where is it? Uh, 12 minutes away. Draw a quest path. We could send someone to check the other instances. But let's go on over there. We're going to be ready. Yeah, there, uh, some people do a lot of these posts in the zone chat. Which zones are... David Blanker asks which instance we're in. 
Is there any quick way to tell that? Yes. Uh, go oh. to change instance. Yeah, change to 15. Everyone show. change to instance 15. So, oh, as okay. soon as it becomes available, so we, we have just... to wait 30 seconds, or I do anyway. Yeah, the dragon is already there in in West X's instance. So I guess we sh we could still be walking over there while we're waiting. Yeah, I'm about to her. Oh, somebody just went by with a robot crab, was it? Yeah, and she's not going to spawn for 20 minutes here. Oh, robot lobster, wow. Alright, well we're getting over there, and now still not quite time to change instance. Am I in the wrong section? Is that what it is? Oh, you can't do it while you're in combat. And there's enemies everywhere. Uh, okay. Change instance to... Whoop, wrong button. I really want... God, and freaking enemies run up to me. says 15 is full. Oh, 15 is full, Ethan. I don't know. What is the maximum number of players? About 15, it says. In one zone, isn't it 30? Uh, well, these all say it might be full, and they all have 15 to 18. Hmm. Yeah, I don't really want to wait 18 minutes. we got to change to some instance. Well, let's just pick one. One with low population. I'll go check 32, you check 28, somebody. I'll All go right. to 28. I'll check on D7. Alright. Oh, dang it. It doesn't put you right back where you were. No, I'll send you a campfire. Alright. So, face the right way. Uh, eight minutes. So called, they're still bringing it back eight minutes? That's not bad. Alright. Yes. Well, I'm almost over there. Get the uh, nice statue. Uh, oh, he's already here at this one. Wait, there's a timer, but I see Charthraxis. What is that? There, you have 20 oh. minutes to kill him. Okay, everyone come spawned. to mine. Which one did I say it was? 20. I can't uh, phase for a minute. Oh, and he just spawned on mine too, I think. Wow. I'm in 32. <laughs> there's no one here. Oh, there's no one here. We have seven Yeah, I'm in 32. Come to this one. We have plenty of time, and it's low population. It'll be fine. I'm just kind of visible. Yeah, 50 seconds to wait. Hey, Ziplo. Okay. Good to see you. How can you join? Just come to the right instance. It's 32. You do that. You pause. Go to change instance and pick 32. Oh, pick this guy up. Get up. I'm trying to pick him up. There we go. Ow, if you'd stop hitting me. Alright, yeah, you can revive other players, which is good. Is everyone on their way? I see West X got here. Yep, 80, 84 is here. 15 more seconds. 84, 82. Uh, 20 seconds. No problem. Dragon will still be around a little bit. Well, it would be better if it's instances weren't a thing, however, it's not realistic to you know it's a lot more trouble for this server to handle a hundred people or something imagine a hundred people here fighting this guy our xbox ones would be grinding to a halt oh i'm about to die i better take a potion that's better grand theft auto for a games the gold title well I bet they still sell a few copies of Grand Theft Auto, but they could do that if they wanted to have a compelling title. Wasn't Red Dead Redemption Games of Gold one time, or am I wrong? Hey AJ, the stream will be at the same time tomorrow, always at 6pm Pacific, 8pm Central. Alright, everybody's here and we're fighting the dragon, that's more like it. I'm going to use a different daily power. Boom. The chat's moving pretty quickly in game. It looked like someone sent me a whisper asking about being able to join. Oh, our really? Guild. I think someone possibly in the Twitch stream. Uh, yeah. Anybody who's interested in joining the guild, send an Xbox Live message to Icky Est would be the best way. I don't really want to be getting a lot of messages while we're doing the stream. Uh, oh yeah. What we need to do is have Brian or CMU, CMU 
telling people who to message. But I'll type it out real quick. You have to be level 15 or higher to join the guild, although obviously we prefer you to be way higher than 15. But we'll take low level players as long as you're serious about sticking with the game and leveling up. This dragon is about to be toast. Yeah. There he goes. Down. Poor dragon. He drops equipment sometimes, but it's not it's not purple, it's only blue and it's not that great. But better than nothing. Well, okay, I just got one message. Yeah, we will accept guild invites. We'll just manage that after the stream, if you don't mind. Uh, ooh, elemental fire. Now I'm going to claim my heroic encounter reward again. Dragon horde coins and an enchantment. What do you use the coins for, Icky? The campaign. Uh, the complete yeah, campaign, yeah. yeah. Not so bad. Get some money. All right. That went really quickly. Should we go turn it in? Where do we turn it in? Here or in Protector's Enclave? Alright. Uh, let's see. Uh, to the NPC you spoken earlier? Yeah, I also have a quest for swapping grave markers. I guess I should do that while I'm here if you don't mind. Yeah, they're pretty yeah. easy. There's one right here by cool. spawn. Did everyone get that? It's Once you reach level 60, is that the level you need to be to start getting daily quests that are not guild quests? Oh, no, you get... You get these ones, I think, after you finish Never Death, which I think is a thirty-something zone. Yeah, somewhere around there. You might be right. Evolve, yeah, Evolve would be. A, I think it would benefit a lot from being a Games of Gold title. Because it just didn't sell very well. Yeah, especially since it's pretty heavy on the paid DLC for characters, isn't it? Yes, so that would be a good way for them to get more people playing, and some of those people would want to buy the characters. So They should do that. Alright, now let's go turn this mess in. Uh, I just added someone named Baranza. I believe that was the person. Thank you, message. Icky. Yeah, Icky, along with West X, Icky is my second in command. A little more Icky, though. But he does a lot of help with guild planning and stuff. And also, Icky is very good about participating in dungeons when people need partners. That's one of the benefits of being in a guild, is you have access to guild chat. You can just be like, hey, can somebody come help me with this? And because the other people are your guildmates, they're likely to take you seriously. That's not to say that everyone in the guild pays proper attention to chat. We have some people who seems like they don't even know how to chat. But that's just a problem with the game. It's not our guild's fault or anything. It's very clunky. Yeah, it does. the game doesn't teach you the chat command, which is left bumper plus down on the D-pad. Do that, bam, I can type. And then X, and then type, and then A, and then A. Yeah. And you, it's very obnoxious. It supports too. USB keyboards. Um, what is that thing you use? Smart glass, yeah, and chat pad. So yeah. you have a lot of different options. It also has voice chat, but everybody uses text chat. It's just you know, it's more appropriate for this kind of game, really. All right, turned in my quests. Would. It, can everyone get, like, Culling the Cultists and Ghost Stories, the daily repeatable quests? That was... I believe you get those in Protector's Enclave. I've already done for them. For the day? No, mm -hmm. Not a problem. Uh, let's do... What's the next thing we should do, Icky? Yeah, don't turn off guild chat. That would be a bad idea. Yeah, Brian. Uh, Brian's saying again? he likes to play <laughs> MMOs as a single-player game, which is an option, but I think you are obviously missing part of the point when you do that. <laughs> yeah, The Old Republic is a good game for a single player. Alejandro also barely plays with other people. But I mean, like, the whole reason I love this game so much is we have a nice community and a lot of them actually play the game, so we can all play together and work on this guild together, and it just 
it adds so much more to the game than just completing quests. Yep, Alex admits it. Yeah, that's right. If you have a chat pad or a keyboard, you just hit enter to chat. You don't have to worry about the chat command. So that is really convenient. And writing guild emails and stuff, that's easier too. So where do we want to go, Icky? Did you... We could just do quests if we don't have anything uh, special to do. Well, if you want to go for another dragon, then that's another oh, location. Oh, okay. Where? Uh, Yvonne Down. Okay. Let's do that. Let's all go to Evan Downs, guys. I will call a VIP sign. They have a subscription service of sorts, completely optional, called VIP. You just buy it one month at a time or in like six month packs and stuff. And if you get enough VIP, then you, like every month you get, it adds another level and you get new features. So I've got this travel signpost that other people can use to travel wherever they want instead of having to find a travel location. Is everyone picking at Evan Downs? Because you have to pick it before I do. I think he is. Okay, I'm just picking it. Alright. Yep, uh, try to, try to mute your, your sounds when you're making sounds, bro. Wait. Wait. Yeah. Seriously? I thought I had my mic muted. <laughs> I don't know, you're like yawning and stuff. Okay. Uh, so here we are in Evan Downs, and Icky is gonna, is everyone here? And we're all in the same instance, that's good. Yeah. Yep. Alright, yes. we're following Icky. I have not done this dragon battle before. Yeah, I never found him while I was in this zone, but I rushed through. It's a pretty short zone. Yeah, and you're low level when you get here, so I guess it's one of those things. Even the low level zones have stuff Ooh. for higher level people to return to later. Yeah, I do like their little time challenges oh, they those do. Are fun, yeah. You'll be in a zone and something will pop up and it's like, do this. And some mushroom collection and spirit wolf killing. <laughs> They're mostly killing quests. I think the mushroom is the only one that I saw as collection. There's catching thieves in the like the seaside area. Oh yeah, that's like really early on. Running through the water. What zone of Evan Down? Oh, David wants to come with us. Uh, Ethan, what can you tell which instance we're in? We're 30. in 32. Are we still? Are we still? Just two. We are yeah, we're in number uh, two. Instance two, yeah. Okay. Two. Yeah. Oh, we got switch when we switch yeah. zones? Every oh, map has a different instance. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. Is everyone. Does someone give us the quest for this? Because I don't know if I've gotten such a quest. Uh, the, the quest is here. The NPC is here. Let's see if you can get it. Which one? Well, this guy. Uh, come to me. Come to me. You are just at a campsite. Yeah, I see the campsite. I don't see you. Yeah, come to me. Come to me. Not, not, not there. Oh, you're northeast. It's, okay. It's just beside us. Gotcha. Uh, okay, everyone the... follow Icky. Okay. By the way, we have some members of the guild participating in the game and s seemingly watching along with the stream. Members who have not previously been a part of our Twitch community, and we really appreciate you guys joining us tonight. That is excellent. As our regulars know, we give out free games and stuff every Saturday, and we even have a stream tomorrow for Valentine's Day with more free games and stuff, so it's going to be a lot of fun. So talk to Acolyte. Uh-oh. No, I can't get it. But can we still fight it? Will it let us? Okay. Yes. All right, yes, everyone can. just follow Icky. Are there some weird rules to get this quest? Because I've never gotten yeah. it. Uh, you need to proceed with your campaign unlocked. Oh, oh, the the I'm alternate campaigns. campaigns. Yeah. Yeah, the... We got five yeah. minutes. Five minutes, we can handle that. Let's just hang out and talk. Surprisingly, no. Yeah, by the way, let's talk about tomorrow's stream. If you want a chance to win more free stuff, we're going to stream two different games tomorrow, two retail games. First, Arslan, the Warrior of Legend, which is a game we already showed the PC version of a few weeks before it came out. And... Uh, the Xbox One version runs a lot better than the PC version, so that's going to be fun. I really like that action RPG based on an anime and manga. Character designs by the artist from Full Metal Alchemist. 
And after that, we'll do an hour, an hour and a half of Arslan, and then we're going to do an hour of Deadpool in celebration of the Deadpool movie coming out. Activision was kind enough to give us a copy of the game just to stream. Very cool of them. And for prizes tomorrow, we will have three copies of Arslan to give away, three Xbox One copies of a game that just came out this week, so that's very exciting. And we will have six Xbox gift cards to give out. You can spend it on whatever you want, including Neverwinter Zen, which is on sale for 15% off until Monday or Tuesday. Something else that came out this week was uh, Dying Light the following, yes. and the Enhanced Edition, which I was at Best Buy today. They did not have it oh, on the shelf. Oh, that's a shame. I did see Arslan, Ooh, though. At least Arslan made it. At least on PS4. I didn't see it on the Xbox shelves, but I wasn't looking for it. <laughs> Brian can enter a contest because he's not running the contest. Yeah, you still get free games though, Brian. We keep you hopefully decently satisfied with that. Let's fight some regular enemies while we wait. Ah, exotic leather and mithril ore. Those are crafting components. So when you hit max level in this game, what are the activities that you can engage in? Epic dungeons. Uh, you do not actually hit max level, but you have a, a 53 over level, we call it, where you can still get abilities, but uh, the level still stays in level oh. 70. Hmm. Yeah, so basically you could uh, max out most of the uh, level 3 abilities. That's pretty neat. You can still keep growing, even though you can't gain higher level unless they ever raise the cap. And they did raise it once, because it used to be 60. And that's a pretty common thing for MMOs to do. I, I know World of Warcraft started at 60, I think they're up to about 110 now. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Brian says that he plans to stream a game I sent him recently, a PC game called Epis Story, which I saw at PAX South, and hopefully I still have a preview of that coming up. I just haven't had a chance to capture footage for it. But it's a, an RPG with typing, like you do typing for the battles, you type words to fight, kind of like typing of the dead, but it's not on rails, you know, it's a real RPG where you walk around and stuff. Hmm. So, some Neverwinter fans might enjoy that game, it's on Steam Early Access right now, I believe. Ew. It'll get a full release eventually. But unfortunately, no console port. I tried to talk them into it too, and they're I'm like, hey, the consoles have keyboards, and they just shot me down. They said, no, not interested. Does the Xbox One support wireless keyboards? Sure, wireless USB keyboards. When I bought the mouse and keyboard for uh, my display dock for my 950, and I thought about it for my Xbox as well. Yeah, it's handy. That's what I used before I got a chat pad. I on my 360 anyway, I had a wireless one. Although we lost the receiver to it, so we need to be looking around for that tiny little receiver. Oh yeah, those things are... Can you rebuy that? Uh, I might be able to. It's. I'd probably be more likely just to buy another chat pad though. Stick it on a controller. <laughs> but, I mean, the chat pad is really convenient. It's really good, but it doesn't feel as good as typing on a full-size keyboard, so... How's it compared to the 360s? Well, the buttons are a little smaller, but Ooh. but not too small. Like it's it's still a really good keyboard. I kind of I wanted to do a 360 comparison in my review, but the review was long enough as it was, so I didn't incorporate that. I was debating getting one, but uh, I have pretty big hands and fingers. Well, you could always buy it someplace that has a return policy, and then if you didn't like it, you could just take it back. Not a lot of them have a return policy for I just don't like this. Walmart and Target would. I don't know if they sell it, though. I bet they do. I was going to go to Target today, yeah. I never did. Best Buy, you would get like 10 or 15% that you would not refund it, so that would stink. I say Let's... go for Target. They'll do anything for uh, customers. Anything. <laughs> not my Target. My Target is not like I people. used to work at Target. And say hi to everybody. All those CAG deals, my target will not play nice with those. I had people that uh, just come in, grab a sweater that was like, I can't remember what it was. It was like priced differently. You could return 
stuff at Target without a receipt. They just give you a limit of like sixty dollars a year. Yeah, Best Buy I think lets you do it, but you can they tie it to your driver's license. You can only do it once a year, I believe. Bartling Gorex. Yeah, and Walmart has a similar policy. I think you get three returns with a driver's license per year. Here he comes. He's a big scary dragon with horns and crap. Let's take him down. Oh, Lightspeed Halo says he got banned somewhere. Was it for using too many smileys? Man, that did a lot of damage. Do we have a healer in the party? Aren't you a healer, Keith? Uh, I no. I think I'm kind of a healer. No. I can heal, but yeah, you never really have healing, to. Bro. You hold still, <laughs> yeah. I can heal you. You're... I got silence as I hit. How? Yeah, me and Yup both got killed. Yeah, just to make sure you stay out of the uh, raid area. Going stealth, run up and hit him. One of my other characters is a healer, just a pure healer. But I'm mostly working on this guy, trying to get him to 70. Yeah, and that's my thing. It's kind of hard to play as a pure healer in a leveling game. It's kind of a thing you learn to do once you've hit max level. Otherwise, it takes forever to kill anything. Well, it's something I meant to show off. I wanted to show off invocation. I have to remember to do that in a minute. We'll talk about it. Oh, I've done all my invokes for the day. Yeah, I still have one left that I was saving just for the stream. Okay. Take that, dragon. Oh, you usually can carry two daily abilities. You use both of yours. You can take two at once? Well, you can uh, choose between two. You can Oh, them yeah, you, yeah, X and like, Y. I do one. use both, yeah. Okay. What are you Don't forget do? to tell us if you get downed, yep. Uh, one attacks like all the enemies in the area for a few hits, and the other one is just like splash damage. Jump up in the air and hit the ground. Oh, no, I'm dead. Uh, where are you? This dude's uh, dangerous. You click on. I mean, you need to press the uh, help so that we can yeah. see the uh, yeah. green circle. Yeah, I don't see you, man. Yeah, he's got a lot of distance uh, attacks, it looks like. Yeah, you will get. Much more difficult in each uh, new dragon introduced. Oh, my companion got killed. How many are there? <laughs> well, I'm dead. Uh, there's a total five in uh, in the world. That's actually total five, but there's actually few more which is uh, epic dungeons. In. Yeah, don't forget to heal. If you take damage, use your potions. It's real easy to forget, I know. Yeah, they give you so many potions. I started to run low once I got to the, the harder stuff, the daily quests and stuff. I started using them because I got sick of seeing, like, 40. <laughs> Yay, we got him! He's dead, isn't he? Let's jump on his head. Wee. That's what you get. Okay, so claim your reward. Oh, yeah. And, uh... Maybe you want to do an invocation with the uh, <laughs> uh what, what, Dragon what Horde called? coins? Give me those coins. Drop the portable altar. Oh. Oh, where is it? Yeah. Uh, oh, oh, here, I'll drop one. I've, I've got a crap load right. of them. We have oh, here plenty. We go. Okay, so here I can do an invocation. <laughs> yeah, I hold yeah. left bumper and press right on the D pad. You see, I get a big experience bonus. <laughs> well, ah, oh, great, in enemies are hitting me. Uh, anyway, I get a bunch of experience basically, and because I'm a VIP, I get another big experience bonus. And so, if you, even if you don't have time to play the game, you're allowed to do six invocations a day, I believe. Uh, the and there's a timer yeah. in between how often you can do them. But yeah, they total about four yeah. hours. So just check in throughout the day, like when you get up in the morning, when you go go to bed at night. Even if you don't have time to play, do your invocations, and you'll still level up. Like every week, you'll level up a few times. So there's no reason to stay at the same level like when you have a busy week. Just check in, do your invocations at least. And if you have multiple characters, do it on all your characters. Alright, so now we need to just do some quests, I guess. So uh, yeah. I will pick something... Oh, we've got Ending the Madness group. Let's do that. Does anyone know where that is? Spell Plague Caverns to destroy the source of the evil which taints the chasm. You know what I think about things that taint, don't you? Uh, it's not important. Is that skirmish? Is the text in red? Yeah, it's in red. 
go to the spell plague caverns. Uh, Can I, I shoot? Too high level for level seventy. No, it's level <laughs> fifty-two. Uh, Cannot be sure. Yeah, I, we are probably out level. <laughs> are you sure? Because only two of us. No, only one guy is less than level fifty. Uh, here I'm gonna I'm gonna oh, drop this. He has the max level. Uh, let's just go back where Icky is. Yeah, uh, just let's go back to the camp. We will see if we can do the uh, skirmish there. I don't think we can, but fine. Who's just okay? Somebody warping out. I see Dean. Looks like he's warping out. Uh, following the other guys in the group. Your entry was entered. Don't forget to enter and win tonight's contest. You have to follow our Twitch channel, so make sure you hit the follow button and enable email notifications. That's very important. All right. Are there any? Can this guy do anything? Nope. Uh. So let's go. I'm telling you, let's go do that group thing. Yeah. Like, if we we can do the can? Uh, for this. Yeah. Oh, okay. Only we, a full group. Great, okay. So, very cool idea, Icky. We're gonna do a skirmish, which is like a little instance level you run through. I do like the way they scale levels in this game. It's something World of Warcraft kind of started doing recently uh, with some of their older dungeons. Oh, I should have sold my junk before I went over. Oh well. I've never done this one before. I have something equipped that pops out a shopkeeper. I don't know if it's personal or if anyone else. This dungeon is not skill. <laughs> this dungeon uh -oh. is not skill. I think other people can use it. Uh, yeah, the enemies are low level. Yeah, this would be easy. Yeah. Well, uh, overall, we are just showing. So we should be okay. Yeah. Yeah, and another thing is that. We mentioned this a lot, but we really appreciate it when you visit the article for the stream and leave a positive comment, because that's how Perfect World Entertainment and the other people who donate prizes can know that you guys liked our streams, and that encourages them to keep donating prizes to us. So everybody, please make sure you, if you don't have a commenting account, create a commenting account, but make sure to leave a comment. Let us know how much you enjoyed the stream. And on Windows Central, you can sign in with a number of accounts. Your Microsoft One, uh, probably your Google and Facebook and Twitter accounts. So, Paul, how many more of the uh, Koei Tecmo games do you have to go through for well, Twitch? Uh, yeah, one of the streams we do, we have a Koei Tecmo stream series, which is what Little Fire is referring to you guys. So we're streaming all of their Xbox One games and giving out copies of all those games. They're retail titles, so they're pretty high value prizes. This month, at the end of this month, the 28th, is it? No, oh, I forget what day. 27th, maybe? Anyway, the last Saturday of the month, we're streaming Blade, Blade Storm Nightmare. The next month, we have Dead or Alive 5 last round. And then, hopefully, April, we will be streaming Arslan again and giving out, like, many more copies of it so but we're still working on getting ours lot approved but they they probably will say yes well, that poor guy he didn't last <laughs> very long Reels. <laughs> so that's three more games if it all works out do they have any more releases planned yet I don't know if they have any more announced for the year but I, they probably will end up putting something out in the fall or whenever but I don't know they have a lot more stuff coming to PlayStation, being a Japanese developer. But at least some of their games do come to Xbox One, which is great for us, because we don't get a lot of Japanese games. Eventually we're going to get Scalebound from Platinum. Aren't, aren't they Japanese? The Scalebound developer? I think so. But that got pushed back to next year, which oh, yeah. is kind of sad. Is too bad. Marine Dog asks whether the guildmates would be able to help explain things like how the instances work and stuff. I mean, for one thing, there's a Neverwinter wiki, so I highly recommend anybody who gets into the game bookmark it and, and return to it for little things, because it's really helpful. But yeah, I mean, 
we do have some knowledgeable guild members who will be happy to help you with your questions or to team up with you on instances like this, dungeons, etc. Ah, that dude's tall. He's large and in charge. Ah. Bone Golem. And we beat him. Whoa, and I leveled up. Level 64 word. One more. Closer to 70. There's an achievement for killing like 100 Golems, I think. I forget however many. Yeah. <laughs> They have it for several different races. I came in enemies. third place. Yeah, a lot of the achievements are for killing certain quantities of enemies. The hardest achievement in the game is for killing a thousand dragons, and I believe that will take most players a year or two if they actually try to do it. But a thousand dragons is ridiculous. <coughs> for one of the currencies we just... So, yeah? Paul, yeah. And, never mind, I was about to talk about the era. <laughs> oh, yeah, exactly. One of the currencies that yeah. we got from completing this was Astral Diamonds. And Astral Diamonds, you can use them to... It's the currency of the auction house, basically. So people sell things, buy things with Astral Diamonds. And you can even convert Astral Diamonds into premium currency, into Zen. So it's really neat that they give you that option, even if it's not like a super good value as far as time, you know, as far as your time goes. But if you just adamantly don't want to spend money or something, and you have way too much free time, you don't have a job, whatever the reason, you can you can do that if you want. Just grind Astral Diamonds and convert them into Zen, and still be able to get all the cool premium stuff. Am I right? Yeah, what all can you do to get Astral Diamond? Well, completing skirmishes and dungeons is a good way. Your invocations also give you Astral Diamonds. Yeah, that's right, Vian Drizzy. You can only win yeah. once per night, but we appreciate it if you stick around if you can. Is there any other ways, Icky? PvP, maybe? Uh, you can do two dungeons and two skirmish a day and one domination. Oh, a domination, too. Uh, Is that something we'd be able to do? Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. All you can earn a day. Yeah, our levels are too different to do PvP. We must lay but that would be another option, though, if you get into the PvP component. And there's you earn glory in PvP, and you can use that to buy special stuff, of course. So, did you have an idea about what to do next, Dickie, or should we just do a regular mission? Uh, I guess a regular mission would be good because I'm out of <laughs> Not a problem. <laughs> All right, um, let's go with reclamation. This is a little bit low level. We'll tear through it, but that's fine. Okay, draw a quest path and share. All right, Little Friar and V already have it. So, which area do we go to to do it? That's one of the things I don't like about uh, the pirate place. You're I probably believe. right. Yeah, one of the things I don't like about the game is it doesn't always tell you what area a quest is in, and a lot of times I have to look it up on the wiki, which I do not enjoy having to do. Oh. Uh, actually, it tells you on the uh, world map. Yes, it does tell you some, when but it doesn't tell you all. Yeah. Like, uh, Only if it's highlighted. <laughs> let's see. Which one is the pirate place? Um, pirate Skyhold? Sky... Yeah. For instance, yeah. I'm looking at Pirate Skyhold right now, and it's not showing any quests listed under it, even though you said I had... This is... There, right? Um, let's see. Uh, yeah, thank you, Brian. I could be wrong. Yeah, the only thing, when we do a multiplayer yeah. night like this, we don't get to watch the chat as well, and usually we don't have a separate co host to watch chat at that point because we're just trying to focus on the game a little more. But other nights when we're not doing multiplayer games, we have co hosts, and their job is to try to watch the chat and the game and all that. All right, so is this the right place? It looks like it is, yeah. Is everyone here already? I am All right. not. I'm waiting on you. Uh, probably because you oh, traveled. Oh, I went into the sign before everyone else. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> so the sign gone at the same time. Thea, that's a really nice tiger. White tiger, baby. I'm going to call a different companion. Let's see. 
I will go with Sutter Kane. He's my eldritch looking dude. Tentacle guy. Where all do you earn your companions? I know they kind of hand you one pretty early on. Yeah, uh, this one I bought. And yeah, I've bought a few with coupons. Always with a coupon, but yeah, I'm. I like the game well enough that they're. that I do buy stuff on my own. But you. Don't you get another one later on as you play through the game? I don't think you only get one. I think you get more than one. Maybe. I mean, I'm up to 50 now, and I have not gotten huh. a second. What do you think, Icky? Uh, you can check the reward agent. Okay. Uh, there should be an uh, illusionist. Oh, oh yeah. No. You're a renegade illusionist. You get that one for free yeah. by connecting your ARC account. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, one common companion, which is handed by you, uh, request. Okay, now we're just waiting on Brian. I am. Here he is. <laughs> all right, everyone's here. Yeah, yeah, all okay. here. Ready, guys? Yeah. Let's go. So this is a like floating sky area, kind of like Skylanders, as a matter of fact. Is it what Skylanders is? I. Well, there's floating islands. Yeah, it's the concept. All the different areas are islands. Let's see. Is this a skirmish? Can we do the skirmish? Yeah. Right. We should be able to. Let yeah. me try. Okay. All right. Yeah, we can. That's not okay. everyone. Everybody can move over on. here. Um, okay. We're. <clears throat> Evangeline eighty three says. A guy's face with an afro. That doesn't translate very well to speech. Afro man. Sure. Why not? Oh yeah, I need to sell my junk before I run off with you guys. Sell. Yeah, when you find items that are level 60 or higher, you want to save those to donate to your guild. But if they're below that, you can just sell them if you're not going to use them. Some things have question marks, they have to be identified, but you can also sell them without identifying them, which saves some time, but you don't get as much money that way. Alright, good enough. Oh wait, there's one more. Sell this tankard. And what about this thing? Small white pearl. Nope, save that. Okay. I'm coming! Let's do it. Uh oh, the bridge is on fire. Uh, activate the uh, circle. You see the circle on the floor? Oh. You need to everyone has it. to? Yeah. Okay. Yes, All right, there we go. <laughs> Tigers fan mentions Rocket League. Coming out on Xbox One this week was a free PS4 game, PS Plus. Yes. Ah! Stop hitting me! Yes. I'm in the habit of picking things up, but actually, I don't even want anything we're gonna find here. It's too low level. Yeah. So, that's my recommendation. If you don't want it, don't pick it up. That way everyone doesn't get spammed with those unnecessarily. Yeah, I kind of wish you could opt out of the need, greed, pass thing. Just like automatically pass on everything. Just so that I can see those pop-ups all the time. Oh, what's this? A dragon? Yeah. God, all these dragons, man. Thank you, Tyler. Tyler is one of our regular co-hosts. Taking tonight off because he doesn't have an Xbox One to play with this. Oh, that was scary. <laughs> it's just one of the many things wrong with Tyler. But we love him anyway. <clears throat> mm, I can take my leave. <laughs> Oh, by the way, Aki, with my 20 keys, I got an artifact equipment. 
Or an artifact. Yeah. yeah. Uh, the one that does the, the elemental thing. Oh. Wheel of the Elements, that's it. Oh yeah, I also got an artifact cloak and an artifact belt. And one of them is from the 20 key. With the with the 20 key pack, yeah. Uh, I didn't get <laughs> Poor guy. <laughs> it's, most probably is because you have higher VIP level. <laughs> Maybe that does help, who knows. <laughs> Give me my chest, I want my rewards. How are we doing on time? Yeah. Okay, we've got one more hour of the stream tonight, you guys. We thank you all for sticking around with us. It's great to see you all. Yeah, I'm sorry, you guys. Uh, it's one of our guys on the stream is not muting appropriately, so we're getting a lot of background noise, unfortunately. It's not me. My mic is muted. Ah, ah. then maybe it is Keith. Keith, try muting. Let's see if that helps. Mine was muted. Okay, Icky, you try muting. Mine has a little red light to warn me. It just went quiet. Was it? Dang, it's me? It was you? <laughs> uh, I'm not sure. Let me try again. Are you sure it wasn't you, Little Fryer? It went quiet after you stopped talking. Well, I mean, I wasn't talking before. I, I had to unmute to talk. I mean, yeah, I don't know. Sorry, guys. Hear anything it's... now? I do hear background noise right now. That might be my furnace. I, yeah, potentially. Yeah, just try to remember to mute when you're not talking, and that will help. Whoa, I don't want to level seventy, so I don't want to get rid of that. Okay, I'm fine with all my stuff. All right, now let's go do this quest, everybody. Yeah. Normally we don't have, you know, we have the same basic people as co-hosts most weeks, so usually there's not a background noise problem. But when we do a multiplayer night like tonight, things are just a little different. And by the way, something we'll probably be doing a multiplayer night of soon is Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare 2, which I started playing today. Got my review copy, played a little bit of it, and I was really impressed. I had a much better time. It's out the 19th, is it? Well, it's the 18th on EA Access, isn't it? I think it's the 18th. Could be 19th. Oh, wow. I thought it was closer than that, because it's a week early on EA Access, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's one of those days. Let me look at the calendar right now. I was told the 18th, but you could be right. They may have told me wrong. Who knows? But anyway, we're not allowed to stream it until it's on EA Access, which is a drag. But hey, at least we get to stream it a little early, so hopefully we will do that. And anybody else who has EA Access will be welcome to join us. If it ends up happening. But, you know, they don't have a campaign in Garden Warfare 2. But there is a decent amount of single player stuff to do, it seems. Like, I haven't seen how far it goes, but there's... You just, you take on single player missions and you go do them and, I mean, it's fun, you know, like, it doesn't need a whole lot of story, it's still worth doing. So what are we here to do? Go to yeah, scale press. Feather Hollow. Isn't that the one we're doing, Reclamation? Rail says that Unravel is fun. Yeah, that's another one. See, I really need to get back to playing Unravel because I'm supposed to review that as well. Marine Dog likes it too. That's good. Is that a pretty straightforward platformer? It's a puzzle platformer. There is a lot of puzzle. Everybody get over here. I'm sorry you're not feeling good tonight yet. Yeah, yeah, I have to. You guys are far. Down here in the lower right corner. Maybe I can show oh. a lot more lizard guys. I'm not anywhere close to the achievement. So let's kill away. And you get credit for enemy any enemies that your group kills. As long as you're in the same area. I don't know if you're in a different area if it would not give you credit. 
That happened. Uh, I was in a group with this guy, and he killed an enemy, and the achievement popped for me, even though I hadn't personally done it. Oh, and we're also at the end um, of an event where you have to catch Willow the Wisps. Uh, there's a quest back on the floor there. Do you see it, or it's only me? Where? <laughs> uh, just below nope, my leg. See anything? No. Okay, so it's just me. Oh well. Are you guys still on your way over here? Oh, I have to activate this bag. Didn't I already get it? Yeah. So I activate this, it gives me a quest. Gather five building materials. Alright, but let's keep finding lizard guys to kill. Lizard guys are not your friends. They've got it coming. Ooh, my companion gained enough experience to level up, so I'm going to send him off to level up. Oh, but first let's see this little scoreboard. So I got a few items for participating in that Will of the Wisps thing, even though I only picked up two Will of the Wisps. So that's fine with me. That helps. So I look at my companion's menu. My guy currently has five. I'm going to send this guy off to train. Then I lose access to him for a little while while he trains, but then he'll come back and he'll have higher stats. And instead, I will summon my panther, Panthro. Should have named it Cam Newton. <laughs> Salvage building materials. Cam Newton. What's the reference there? Sports guy? Quarterback uh, for the Panthers just played the Super Bowl? Come on, Paul. Yeah. Well, I knew the Panthers were in the Super Bowl. So. From context, I thought that's what it was, but I wasn't positive. Um, so I still have to collect five building materials. But you guys don't. Maybe it's selfish of me to run around looking for them. You know what a big jerk I am. Let's do eviction instead. Turn in eviction. Draw a quest path. Alright. Is it not the one we were already on? I think so. By the way, did anyone ever answer you yeah. about Unraveled? It was, the demo for it was on EA Access, but not the game itself. Although, someday it will be on. Well, I mean, I imagine it's about the same thing, isn't First it? two levels. Yeah, I imagine that's what they would give you for platformer-type game. Oh. <laughs> you okay over there? So how do we get more quests then? Oh. Okay, yeah, uh, Westex points out that after this point, it's hard to find the rest of the quest line. It, this guy didn't give us the next quest, so we don't actually know where to go to get it. Um, let's just go over here to this area. Anybody want to come over here with me? And God, all these freaking item notifications. We'll just kill some more lizard guys. So we were talking about invocations earlier. You know, one thing that can happen in an MMO is that one of your friends has a lot more free time than you, so they they will outlevel you and then all of a sudden you're not able to do all the same things together anymore. That's and that is something that can happen in here to an extent. But if you remember to do your invocations, then at least you will keep up somewhat in experience. You'll level up somewhat and then it's just a really good idea to do that. That is my point. But Icky told me he hates uh. invoking. Yeah. It's a weird thing yeah, to hate. Yeah, what's your problem? <laughs> <laughs> uh, by, uh, by, the, by the way, Paul, the, uh, have you tried uh, queuing for the uh, Crab Mire Creek dungeon? Oh, that's us? a good idea. Let's try that. After we kill these legit guys. Yeah. 
Oh, Ziplo is talking about time travel. Why are we talking about time travel? Did they fix the dungeons they took out like the Club Tower, Linden asks, and boy, we're all kind of new to the, we're recent players, aren't we? The only one who would know is Yup. You have any idea, Yup? Um, uh, sorry, what was the question? Linden in chat asks if they fixed dungeons they took out like the Cloak Tower. I'm not even sure, because I still haven't even done that one. <laughs> So, yeah, unfortunately, we are not aware. Your group is too large to queue. That was why we didn't do it earlier, Icky. If there were only three of us, we could do oh, it. Oh, definitely three. Why isn't there a five-person dungeon that's for all levels? I require an explanation. Uh, because Bad design. five player is only for epic. Ah, uh, yeah. What about when we're low level, but we're in a yeah. big group, you know? We need queues to do. Five players are skirmish only. Would, would it even uh, let us into a PvP group? PvP, uh... Yeah, it won't let us, is what Wes says. I don't think so. No. The only thing we can do is the uh, Stronghold Siege. But we do not have that oh, many yeah. people. Yeah, wouldn't be a good idea. <laughs> I'm gonna use my yeah. thievery skill. Oh, I can't because enemies are hitting me. Get him, Panthro. Alright. I got a runestone and a golden buckle. Uh, okay, let's. We're just going to do a different set of quests. Then hopefully um, everyone will be able to do quests in this level. So let's find out. This one, share. Yeah. Okay. Good. Then we are going to go do assassin search, slay drow assassins, which is in Roth Valley. It looks like. Yep. So everyone go to yeah. Roth Valley. I'll drop a sign too. There's a dragon there if you want to. Oh, try. I love dragons. <laughs> Who's your favorite dragon, you guys? Mine is Falcor, the luck dragon. Roth Valley, there we go. That's not how you pronounce it. But I don't know how to say it, so I'm saying Roth. It's probably Roth. Oh, that's a skirmish here. Lim Marber says that trade bars are glitched in the shared bank. Does that mean you don't want to put them there? There's a skirmish? Well, let's do it. Yeah. Yeah. Try that? Okay. okay. Once everybody's here, we're still waiting for Westex to get here. You coming? Yeah. Uh, building materials. Nope, nothing I really want to sell. Let me see if I can use this bag, because if I can't use it... I already accepted it, so I need to just discard it. Wait. Maybe I'm supposed to hold on to it until I finish the quest. I guess I will. You here, kid? Yep. Alright, let's do it. So Ziplo, you're in our guild. What level are you right now? By the way, you guys, if you're from our actual guild and you're in the Twitch chat, then be sure to tell us who you are so we'll <laughs> recognize you, because certainly we are interested in knowing who came along. Are we ready? Let's do it. This is a cool area. Oh, this is the first time I'm Ooh. playing this. Nice. <laughs> Finding some spiders. Yeah. Because I, I was out level when... I reached here. <laughs> Whoa, you lost 7,000 trade I don't bars? Like about. That's terrible, man. I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah. yeah, that's something I don't care for in these MMOs. Um, they give you more quests than you need to have, and I always want to complete everything, but by then you're not really getting much XP from killing yeah, people. More than yeah, how did you have that many trade bars and you never yeah. spent them, man? Just like super saving up. I want this treasure chest. There's more spider guys. Ow. Who's got 7,000 feet? Bob Jones is Dara Moonshaw. Cool. Uh, somebody in chat. Lamar Lamarber QC lost 
seven thousand. Oh, yeah, that's a lot. That's like uh, eight to ten a day from VIP <laughs> boxes. That means. <laughs> yeah. Wow. That's almost five hundred to six hundred boxes. We yeah, have opened so we're that. talking hundreds of dollars <laughs> worth. That's a shame. Not a common occurrence, but he says don't put them in your shared bank. That's what happened to glitched or something. Oh, more than ten thousand. Okay. Yeah, nobody. Most of us will never get ten thousand at once. So. Oh, this is actually stuff that might be worth keeping, isn't it? Or it's probably level 50 stuff. Be worth it yeah. for level 50 guys. <laughs> yeah, in chat they're talking about how the PlayStation TV has a bad Wi-Fi card. And that is true of the PS TV and the Vita. They are they have crummy Wi-Fi unfortunately. Sony cheaped out on those components, but at least the PlayStation TV has an Ethernet jack, so you can work around that. Eh, yeah, sorry, I wouldn't expect no less. Yeah, they, I mean, as many things as they get right, they often get things wrong. Then again, so does Microsoft. It's like network security. It's <laughs> yes, like network security, that's a good point. Oh, Ziplo hasn't been able to play for two weeks. That's no good, Ziplo. At least do your invocations, man. Do that and you'll keep up with the pack. But yeah, Ziplo writes about games too, I believe. Keeps him busy. So, so busy. Like, sometimes you'll think everything's gonna be fine and you get like three or four games to review all at once. And I used to be better at handling a bunch of games like that. Nowadays, not so much. Alright, which way are we going? Five reviews. See? Just like I was talking about. The flow is all over those reviews. Give me that treasure chest. This game needs a companion app to do things like invoking, manage your professions Dude, while you're on your awesome. phone. Is there one for like iOS maybe? I doubt it. I don't, I don't know if games have ever gone that far with stuff. Some games at least have some kind of companion app, like Warcraft has one, doesn't it? I think Android has um, one, but then... The only thing I know you I'm can do sure. in the WoW <laughs> stuff is they it's like the Blizzard Authenticator for the uh, weird code generator, and then uh, I think you can do like guild chat in it. That'd be fun. Like you can't play with your bros, but you can still stop in and say hi. Like, hey everybody, I'm running late, I'll be on in half an hour things like that. Yeah, well, like if you're on the road and you can't be home, being able to invoke would be pretty cool. Yeah, I'll suggest that to the developers. It doesn't mean they'll listen, but and, uh, bring it up. Yeah. So it's something pretty <laughs> unusual to have in, but that in like professions where it's just like a button managing thing. I'll tell you. Make sure they make one for Windows. Yeah, phone. you're right. Professions <laughs> would be perfect for mobile also, because it is just checking in on junk. Um, and of course, mention them, they could put their uh, Zen market in there. You could buy stuff from your phone. That'll do <laughs> That's it. That's true. If there's money in it. Uh, yeah. But you know, I met the Perfect World guys at the end of January, right? And when I met them, I complained about the, the spam in the world chat. And like a week later, somehow the spam got a lot better with... I don't know exactly what they did. Like they started filtering out more words or what it was, but it's not as bad anymore. Knock on wood. Uh, I turn off the uh, trick chat. Lamarck, we're we're the number one Microsoft fan site, but we're not actually, you know, we're not Microsoft employees. Microsoft is very well aware of us, but yeah, not the same thing. I wish I worked, actually worked for Microsoft. I'd be so much better off. No offense to my bosses, but Microsoft is rich. So for this marketplace we're building, what is the 
profession or material that takes so long to gather, you say it'll be a couple weeks? It's mainly gems. Because when you donate gems, unless it's really high level gems, then you only get like five added to the coffer, I think. So we need. How many more do we need? Like 18,000 yeah. more, something like that. So it's going to be a while. Yeah, and you have to have the special marks to do the high level ones. To get the high level ones. But I mean, like, level. Yeah. Once you're decently high level, you will find plenty of level 3 gems, at least, and sometimes I find level 5 and stuff, so it's not like they're super rare. The problem is that people like to use them for advancing their equipment, and if they do that, then they're, they're not helping the guild, you know? So, my advice... It makes you feel better. I think I put about 35 oh, of them in there today. That's the spirit. Yeah, like, put the guild first I'm in instances like that, because you will help us unlock stuff that will still help you. So you're still helping yourself, but you're also helping everyone else. And that's the fun of being in a guild in the first place. That team effort, all the stuff we're working towards. So yeah, I'm excited to see the marketplace. We won't be able to buy tons of stuff right at first. We'll still have to level it up and stuff, which will take many, probably many months beyond that. But at least there will be some things we can buy, and then we can focus on other upgrades. So that'll be a big step for us. <laughs> Zero, I don't think that's what I said. I'm actually meeting some of my bosses in person for the first time in March. There's an event that many of us are going to. So it's gonna be great putting a face to any of these people. I've already met I've already met Daniel Rubino and Renee Ritchie. Haven't met Derek Kessler and I've been working with him a lot lately. So there's a giant spider. I guess that's alright. Looks kinda of like my spider, but without the armor. Yeah. <laughs> you also look oh better. thanks, Rails and Zero. Dude won't let me get the treasure chest. What were you saying, Icky? Uh, your spider oh, looks cool. better. Thank you. <laughs> Icky's all about my spider. He's always asking if he can pet it. I tell him he has to get me drunk first. <laughs> Go team! Whoa, was I actually number uh, one? You should come here. There's no way I was number one. You should come here again. We were fighting the oh boss. Oh my god. <laughs> we were another side. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm here to get so that. That's what happened. Some astral diamonds there. After you get those astral diamonds, you need to go to your inventory. So you hit left bumper and left on the D pad, or you can just use the menus. Then you press right bumper to go to riches, and you go down to rough astral diamonds and push A to refine them. That converts them to regular astral diamonds. This is just a mechanic for limiting how many Astral Diamonds you can earn in one day. Like, you can get more rough Astral Diamonds than you can process, and then you would have to wait till the next day to process them. So, and I believe they said it automatically does it when you switch zones, doesn't it? Uh, I don't think so. Uh, something to that effect. Like, you might be thinking of something else. Get back in. <laughs> and that's what it says there, but it says each time you lock in or move to another map, but uh, it doesn't really does huh. that sometimes. Lamarber says that he would like us to find somebody <laughs> who has 10,000 trade bars. I wish I knew metric. someone who was that rich in game. I'd be, I'd be like, join our guild, donate all your stuff. Yeah, Westex was pretty rich in Astral Diamonds, that's true. So, uh, which quest are we supposed to be working on? Assassin search? If we do not act, the valley will be overrun. Uh, the dragon is dying. Wait, <laughs> you can see the uh, dragon's health. Uh, quite far. We, we uh, couldn't make it. Bye. Uh, maybe you can change instance? Well, uh, let, okay. let us get there first. Everyone follow Icky. <laughs> Well, remember, it's going to kick us back to a campfire when we switch This instances. is work? Don't say that, Lyndon. Uh, th that's a nearer campfire. Oh, okay, yeah. Just beside the uh, dragon. Well, that'll be good. I haven't been to this area in a long time. 
just ran past the yeah. chicken. This is the uh, fourth dragon in the uh, campaign. Yeah, I think this is the next place I have to go to for leveling. By the way, I hope everyone's enjoying the stream. We do hope to do another <laughs> Neverwinter giveaway in probably about two months or so. Oh, Everybody say hi to the kid. You probably should mute, bro. It's cute, though. And Chris, kill the bit. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Uh, so, can anyone get the uh, quest from this guy? Ha Green World. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Couldn't read the name. <laughs> I can't no, see no one? No. too many people here. So no. Yeah, no, okay. It's alright, okay. Just all follow right. me. Nope. The, uh, the, the dragon is actually here. You can take the shortcut up the ramp. Oh, cool. <laughs> take run up the wall. Yeah. Okay. Is he still here? Yeah, so it's 18 ah. minutes away, so we're going to change instance. Okay. Then we will appear just... All right, you guys here. go find an instance and I'll wait here. Uh, I'll try. You. I'll try to. Little, little fire, will you try one too? Yep, as soon as I'm out of hey. combat. These dudes are whooping up. We're in higher level areas now. Okay, this is good. Come to instance right, two. Ins two minutes cool. away. Sounds perfect. All right, get out of combat. Come to instance two. Don't fall and die. It looks like it's about to be filled. Who else is in the mobile fast ring for Windows Insiders on Windows phones? Lyndon asks. And Ziplo. I am. And Little Fire too. Sweet. I don't think I've put the latest build on. Let me check. Everyone changing to number two? Uh, be right back. Be right back, guys. Two minutes. Venfithar will return. We will wait with bells on. Yeah, I'm in a fast ring, too. Nice. So I'm the only one who's not. Which phone are you using, Yup. Uh, the 950. Yeah, I wanted the XL, but I couldn't spend seven hundred dollars out of pocket at once. I just didn't want to do it. Yeah, I feel you. Yeah, yeah, no the feeling, especially when I could just get it from AT and T through the next program. I was like, yep, yeah, my. I figure the nice thing is if they put the Surface phone on there in the fall, I can upgrade on next, and I'll only spend like three hundred fifty bucks on the phone instead of whatever yeah. ass nine amount. Right. Though I did have to buy the display dock separately as a result. What? Yeah. I just use my Xbox. Works the same. Or the uh, nice. Roku. How much was the display dock? It's $100, which I got as a Christmas gift. And then I've got the uh, wireless Logitech mouse and keyboard to go with it. Which, the one thing that was really dumb is they don't give you an HDMI cable with it. I don't know what they expect you to do without one. Well, that part's not very expensive. Maybe from Amazon or Mono Price. Exactly. All the more reason they should yeah, include it. Yeah, they should. But I guess they're just being cheap. Indeed, but yeah, I only had to really use it once, but it's a pretty nice thing once you find a niche for it. Like, um, on Christmas, I got it, set it up, we were looking at Disney World pictures Ooh. on it. My spider says hi. No, to 51, which I think I was like 44 when I started the day. So, I think I need a new hobby or You're something. You're doing really well, man. I mean, I had to... I have other games I have to play, otherwise I'd, I'd already be at 70 now. But I do love this one, I do not get tired of it. There's so much stuff to do. Yeah. I like it. Um, I, though, I took a break from Halo, it's been making me quite bad lately. <laughs> yeah, maybe give it an update or two. Alright, the dragon's here. Let's kick his butt and try not to die. And don't forget to heal us a lot. A lightning dragon. Whoa. Oh yeah, he does a lot of damage. Yep, that didn't go very well at all. Are you dead? Yep, as soon as I walk forward. I'm, I'm down. The wrong, I'm the wrong level for this and so is Yup. Okay. Just do lots of healing and don't get too close, I guess. And remember to dodge. 
One thing that I like about the combat in this game is the red circles on the ground show when the enemies are going to attack usually, so you have an opportunity to dodge a lot of attacks. Not everything, but some. Yeah, if you got a view, bro. Never get to mute. You're not talking. Please. Oh, sorry. No, wait. I'm not. Uh, oh, I am muted. I don't have a kid. Are you kidding no. me? <laughs> it's gotta be you, man. Only things I got here are two dogs, and they don't make those sounds. <laughs> It'd be a real squeaky dog. Uh, I'm just fighting the dragon. Oh, low fire stick. I'm on down. I'll just okay. run back. I would have picked you up. Well, I think you can't get picked oh, up a second yeah. time because it wasn't given the option to fall yeah, out. Uh, Make sure you stay away from the uh, race yeah. Yeah, the way. A ranged character would be really good here. Uh, it's no, not no, helping me at all. <laughs> no, because the monster spawns uh, on the side. Yeah, it looks like he's, he targets people and drops something on them. Yeah, like me. But at least everyone knows to help each other. You get knocked down, somebody runs. Oh, wait, right away. Like that. Uh, sometimes. <laughs> Use my yeah. elemental thing there. Go away. Almost got him halfway down. Not bad. You can hold the attack button, you don't have to tap it. Which took me forever <laughs> to realize. Yeah. I, don't know why. I mean like it feels a little better to tap it actually, but holding it is good for saving energy. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, so Simu is having a lot of problems with his Lumia 950. I've had so many problems with my 1520. I could never recommend it to anyone, unfortunately. Yeah. Really? The only person I knew that had a 1520 was my cousin. The only issue he had was he sat oh. on it. No, mine is super defective. <laughs> Just yesterday, I placed an online order with Domino's, and they do not let you give them special instructions in the online order, which is stupid. So you have to call them and tell them. So I call them and tell them. Yeah, that's yeah. really bad. But Dom like, was bad they, pizza Well, it, it was cheap. That was the reason we went with it. But anyway, uh, <laughs> yeah. why would they not have that as an option on online? But they don't. The only thing, you can give they your driver it. directions to your place. That's it. But nothing about the actual food after you set up the order. Anyway, so I wanted to call and tell them no garlic butter. I call them, and I'm on the call. My phone just starts randomly hitting buttons, which is a thing it does, oh, every week or so. And then, yeah, then it hung up on him. Just all on its own. Huh, it why didn't, crazy. Why haven't you had the thing replaced? Sounds like a legitimate defect. Well, it's a common problem with the 1520, but you're right. I should have acted sooner, like, during the first year. And what is chasing me? Something horrible is okay. chasing me. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea. I'm just running in circles right now. It's yeah, quite no, awful. I, I do not like garlic, period. But also, like, pizza's unhealthy enough already. Don't put butter on it, too. It's just, like, God. Oh, see, I, I look at it as pizza's unhealthy already, and I will eat everything. <laughs> just give it. me a handful of grease. <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah, if, if I want cheap pizza, I'll go with Pizza Hut. Because their online orders are really cheap. I, well, I like Domino's a little better than Pizza Hut, but when Pizza Hut had Pizzones, I really liked those. I don't know if they still have them. Those were really good. I don't like Domino's uh, sauce. It's really bad, and yeah. it's... I don't like the garlic salt on the crust. It just it is salt. But I think... 
Is that still on there? If I say no garlic butter, it might not be. I don't know. I didn't notice any. Um, I didn't even know that they did a garlic butter thing. Cause I, I know like a lot of places will include garlic butter like in the box for yeah, dipping. Yeah, that would be better than putting it on automatically. Yeah, I didn't know they did that. I haven't yeah, had that in a while. It's probably though. within the last two years, I would imagine. Yay, we did it! I only died twice. <laughs> Same here. <laughs> Go team. Let's see what we got out of it. <clears throat> A very nice looking dragon. Ooh, I got a purple dragon bone. It's an epic quality reward. What do I do with that, Icky? Um, for your cam campaign use, you need to save, save that. Don't, don't sell it off. Don't sell it. Got it. <laughs> howling baby. Well, howling usually means crying. More like just being friendly. Well, I meant it's not like it's trying to imitate a dog. <laughs> Alright. That was good. Let's do a regular quest in the area. Let me take a look at the map and see is there a okay. quest we can do. Or is there another heroic encounter? Uh, no, not. Looking. What, what quest was it earlier that you shared? It was uh, Slade Drow. Slade Drow, yeah. But don't Justin actually see. Ah! Drow, that yeah, guy just okay, jumped so out at us. Oh, two of them. They're giant. Stop them. Yeah, Some really? jerk was being chased and just brought the pain <laughs> yeah, down thanks here. Thanks a lot. Oh, well, they died. That was scary. We're all just relaxing. These two huge dudes fall down <laughs> on us. What's up with that? Okay. Well, at least it comes with a rare item. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it's assassin search. I thought it was in this area. Let me look at my journal. But like I said, the game does not tell you where some of the quests are appropriately, which is annoying. Yeah. Is the yeah, PC is. version in? Has anyone actually played it on PC? Uh, no. But I've seen the uh, screenshot and video. I'm just wondering because, um, like in World of Warcraft, people build a lot of add-on things to add functionality, like all suggesting. I wonder if they do that with oh, this game. That would be neat if they did. Uh, it looks like, yes, this is the right area. It says search for and take down drow assassins throughout Roth Valley. So, oh, there's a blue area over there. We have to get up to it. So that is up and to the left, oh. northwest. Um, can we just go over there? Doesn't look like it. Yeah, you, you need to enter the door. door. Okay, enter tunnel. That's a, that's, All right. that's a door. Yeah. Okay, so everybody go through that. <laughs> Yep, don't forget to mute, bro. A bunch of bad guys in here. Are these the right kind of assassins? Uh, no. Don't think so. But you say it's warrior, it's not assassin. Yeah, you're, you're right. It's a specific kind right? of drow. Alright, let me get back on my mount. Ow, stop hitting me. Everybody's always hitting me, dude. Is violence the only way they notice all their problems? Okay, we got it about 10 or 10, 15 minutes left in the stream. Doing. Yeah, not you guys at least. So. so you may have to look around outside. Yeah, let's have a look. Up, It's still northwest. There's blue circles on the map. That's where we want to go. There's some diamonds within these circles. Where they are? Somebody you can talk to, I think, or an oh, entrance. Oh. oh, missing rangers. I think it might Press be that. Press A to open the weapons cache. Why not? All right. Here we go. Drow slave keeper. These drow are not very nice people, are they? Ah, yeah. That's a thing. Stop here. Someone is uh, giving you already. An attack on There's what? Assassins? Tonight? Yeah, we can yeah. There's a lot of Someone else is like giving you. <laughs> Let's get him. Yeah. yeah, this is the one you're looking for. Drow assassin. Yeah. yeah, I still haven't seen one, but I'm sure they're here. Hey, you just killed one. <laughs> I did? Yeah, you did. You okay, just killed one. Okay, if you say so, far be it for me to call you a liar. <laughs> Uh, so search the area. Well, I can find these. Does it count if I kill it? <laughs> uh, if you accepted the quest, it should. Yeah. 
let's check it out. So as you can see tonight, you guys, we've been playing with a group. And this is a game you can do a lot of stuff with all on your own and just, you know, get matched up with people automatically. But joining a guild and making some friends mm -hmm. is a really good way to play this kind of game. It adds a lot to the game. That's why I've devoted so much time to it in these last few weeks. Pick the Drow Ledger. So I hope everybody will give the game a shot. And if you do end up liking the game, then please do join our Windows Central Guild. We would love to have you. If I didn't know Don't forget that tomorrow night, Valentine's Day, we are going to be streaming Cars Land so and Deadpool. We, we two very different games, but just two games that we feel like showing you guys. So if you are not out on a date, then please join us for that. And you'll have a chance to win more stuff. That's always good. One more Drow Assassin. I'm just not seeing him, dude. Uh, yeah, just being killed fast enough. <laughs> There's still one to go. Yeah. Drow Ledger. I am supposed to be working on these Drow Ledgers anyway. Drow Warrior. I'm pretty bad about when there's an error message, like your ability is still recharging or whatever, I just keep hitting the button anyway. Is anybody else like that? We'll be ready to help you yeah, the sometimes. Depending on the ability, just I do have that problem now because um, all the things I have equipped are really long <laughs> cooldowns. <clears throat> like, no, just work! I'm gonna brute force it. So I hope everybody has had a chance to look at our PAX South coverage. I know Icky and Lil Fryer have commented on several of the articles from that. And we still have more articles to go. I know we're taking, I'm taking a really long time to get those articles written because they also involve video editing and that's very time consuming. But please be sure to read those articles if you can. Whoa, Snapple Cap, what was that all about? Is he just making a point, or did he go mad? <laughs> I was just this huge spam... Look. ...expensive headset. Which one do you use? This is... it's the one I just reviewed about a week ago. The SteelSeries Siberia X800. Oh, yeah, I... I know I had a friend who used to have a, one of the older Siberias. They're, they're really nice looking headsets. I've never gotten to try one, though. So you don't have too many that work with the Xbox, do they? No, not a, not a lot. But I mean, this is the only wireless one as far as I know. I mean, the there's Oof. variants on it. There's the X800, the regular 800, and I think there's a P800, and I believe all of them will work with it, but the X800 is yeah, branded. As we do the stream, one thing I keep noticing is the switch to mute this headset is rather stiff and rigid, and it's got these weird little grooves, and it's kind of painful. That's a shame. After a while. <laughs> it's a very old heads, and I've had it for like uh, eight years. It's a long time. Well, the ones I'm kind of excited for, like I told you, I'm about to review another Corsair headset. I have to say yes to their review request, because I'm trying to get something else out of them later. Gotta maintain those relationships. Uh. Yeah, I'm gonna be <laughs> reviewing the Corsair Bulldog, which is a case motherboard cooling system power supply combo. A really nice thing they're releasing in Aprilish. That's weird. That is that their first motherboard? Uh, well, the motherboard I think it's actually made by MSI, but but it's uh, a do-it-yourself all-in-one kit, you know, to build your own system. That, that is pretty cool. I'm surprised it's not something that's really done much. Um. I don't know anyone who's used MSI. My dad used MSI like 20 years ago, and they like blew off a bunch of people with a bunch of bad boards and wouldn't replace them. So my dad refused to buy from them. So I've never gotten to try their products. Uh, they are not too bad. Uh, yeah, I've had. <laughs> it's cheap. I've had good experience with them. Um, yeah, 
You know, I actually saw uh, at Best Buy today they had one of their pre-built computers, those iBuy powers, and they, they had an MSI video card in it. But for some reason they built the whole computer on a mini ITX board, which was really strange. That they would even show you it's such a small board because you can't add any memory to it, you can't put a second graphics card in it. It's an odd thing to sell for like $1,200. Yeah, I, I've read a lot of negative reviews of the iBuy powers. I mean, everything gets some negative reviews, but I really read a lot. Someone's AT&T phone is ringing. I was supposed to have my daughter this weekend, but nobody wants to hear about that. All right. Um, how many more slate pins? One more. One more. Well. Yeah, because we're. I have a an AS Rock board right now, and a Rose Wheel case, which I really like. Welcome back, Ziplo. Uh, we we took away everyone's mod privileges. It didn't stick with Cluck My Duck, but we took away a lot of people's mod privileges because we were not happy with the mod performance as a whole. She looks yeah, unpleasant. We don't want to talk about it too much, but if anybody th really thinks they should be a mod, then we can still discuss it. <laughs> Thank you, Tyler. Tyler and Zeros. Legendary rivalry. Yeah, I also. They both I don't understand why you're still modded, Royal Bob. I unmodded you too. I think the command isn't working or sticking. I don't know what the deal is. Oh, you guys killed the boss before I could even get over there. <laughs> oh well. Down. Yeah, I, uh, was not helpful. There down either. here she goes. Was it a guy or a girl? It was a girl. She had it coming. Stop hanging out at the chest. Ooh, got some fancy boots. Elusive boots. Are they better than the ones I've got? I really doubt it. They're 50. Wow. Sometimes I don't change my equipment often enough, but I can't remember if I have good boots. Oh, or not. yeah. I do that every 10 to 15 nope, levels. My boots are way better. You don't, they don't really give you a reason to. They don't. It's one thing MMOs do really badly is teach you stat priorities. Good point. I don't want to put on some really high level gear that's full of defense when I'm not almost dying ever. I want to just There's blast no things with crit. Um, so what do we go. return to yeah, Embrose Iricar? Isn't that who we are doing it? It's not doing anything. Did somebody not pick up their reward yet? Yeah, everyone has to pick up their reward. Okay, whoever didn't get the... You have to use the wagon? It... Yeah. Oh, okay. Use the wagon to get out of the instance. That's it. Yeah, that's the only thing. If we make people mods, it should I think it should be people who are here pretty regularly. Like seems like a good idea because we kinda want consistent levels of moderation. Let's stir up you do not want to lose cannon in here. That's right. So now we can all get another quest, and I believe it has been two hours now, so we should go ahead and wrap it up for the night. Yeah, much. Alright, so why don't we return to the guild stronghold for the end of the stream. Let me just call my sign. Okay. Okay, everybody use my sign. Do you see it? It's right here. We'll go back to the stronghold and we'll bid everyone a fond good night. The love between Adam and Tyler is strong tonight. Good observation, Leonard. Okay, has everyone used it? I'm using it now. Come on, love. I'm trying to. It's gonna disappear. On it. All right. Okay. And now, to V. Oh, it disappeared. See? I'll call it again. Okay. Oh, man, now there's a spider hunter contest. I kind of want to stick around for that. But we're going back. Okay. You need to get yeah. Dan and the rest of the group into another Halo stream sometime. That would be fun. Like, Especially since there's about to be more DLC. How long till it comes? Uh, it's February DLC, so it can't be more than a oh. couple of weeks. Probably would be hard um, to work it out in February. Well, you we also do it. They, I mean, they have monthly oh, DLC okay. set up in the March. So yeah, maybe in March if things work out. Hello, X Trap God X. That's not very polite, man. Don't try to get yourself moderated. Yeah, or just 
get a bunch of people from the stream do Warzone as well. Yes, that would be fun. Last time we stuck Halo at the end of one of our other streams and nobody would play in, so that's kind of what killed my enthusiasm for doing it on the stream. Well, there was that time you did it with Dan and we did a bunch of like That time was really good. Stuff. Okay, everybody come here and let's say good night. Get on your mounts, show off your fancy mounts. Congr Which reminds me of another thing that World of Warcraft does that this game should have. Oh, they have the Alt-Z command it hides all of your UIs and you can pan this uh, camera around to take yeah, pictures. Yeah, I wonder if there is a keyboard command for that or not. Because in the PC version you can definitely turn it off somehow, so I need to find out if it's in the console. Excellent. Simu, thank you for handling the contest tonight. Simu is coming back to do contests more often now, so we really appreciate that. Thank you, Simu. Yes, thank you guys who played with us on the stream and helped out on Mike, and also everybody else who just tagged along even though they were not able to party up with us. Thank you, Perfect World, for the mount. Yes, very cool of Perfect World to give us so many prizes. And remember, we'll still have more to give away in future events or future contests. We'll see how that works out. Oh, by the way, I don't know if there's a way to get them to you, but I did take a unusually large amount of screenshots. I don't know what oh, I great. did. Well, them. on Skype, you could... I mean, just pick, like, four or five that you think are good and give them to me on Skype. Yeah, I'll try to see if I can uh, get them through the game DVR thing up to one Oh, drive. yeah, that would be the best way to do it. See? Tyler likes the green owlbear. Right on. I like it too. It's not as fast as my spider, but... So, you said you can't buy them. Uh, how can you get By them? winning them through contest. That's it. Like... Well, what about the other colors? The other colors... I think you might be able to buy a regular owlbear. Uh, Does anyone know? Yeah. Yeah, you can get it uh, from the trade cool. bar. So you can buy a regular owlbear, just not the colored ones, right? I think the colored ones are only for contests. Yeah. Interesting. Yes. <laughs> Excellent, David Belanger, and thank you very much for joining us tonight. Thank you all in the audience, everybody who's a new viewer, every returning viewer. We really appreciate you guys. We hope you followed. Don't forget to follow me. Don't just follow us on Twitch. Also, please follow me on Twitter. Be sure to follow me on Twitter. Retweet my articles, please. Leave nice, positive comments. And whatever you do, don't hate. Appreciate. Bye. Bye. Later.